Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about how to create that route, controller, how to create that group route, how to load some of the view page by this method, right? How to load this. I hope everything is very much clear to you. So friend, that is all that basic concept. That is main core functionality actually. So if you understand my every step by step process, Laravel will be just like as a water flow. Trust me, just simply understand all my step by step process. Okay. Now in this video, I want to do, I have already created two of this page. One is the about, another is the contact, right? Now I want to do, I want to put some of the link. Like I show you. Uh, if you go to our contact page and from to the contact page, I want to add one of the a, a head if okay, that will be a and I want to do I want to close it. I want to close that a and then that will be as on the head if right that will be as a head if so I want to use on the head if and then into this head if area I want to like the from to the contact page. I want to go to that about page. So that will be as about about okay. I make it as about great and from into the about page area now i want to done to add on the route i want to put on the link i have already created on the route as a slash about and then that will be as a slash contact right i have already loaded that method and into this method that will be written on the view page which is totally fine now into the contact page that will be redacted to our about so, so here if you want to add that route link we have to create on the route like I put that route, okay, then the process will be route. So that is a route. And I want to do and to put on the route name. Whatever the name actually you choose, I name it right now for education purpose as a about. Okay. About dot page. Well, this type of one of the route. Now we have to do we have to allocate it that route name. We have to allocate it that route name. It will be returned redirect to our which page that will be returned redirect to our about right here we have to do we have to add the route name if you want to use that route name then that will be as a name that means that that will be on the name route and into this name route area i name it as a about page okay how much easy it is you can see i hope it's very much clear to you so that is a name route okay here i have already created that route that is on the name route i have put it as a about page and now that will be as a name route as a about page so now automatically that will be hit our name route and then that will be one of the slash about it will be loaded our method as index then it will be go to our controller into this controller i have already created that index method it will be written on the view page as a about right now let's check this out if you now click as a save all i have already added that thing link as a for the about page in our contact right if you now go to our contact i click as a refresh now you can see there is one of the link as about and here if you put your cursor you can see it's now successfully get that our url as a slash about now click as about it will be returned redirect to our about page right so it's now successfully returned redirect to the about page that is our one of the route as a name route just simply remember that part that is another name route here i have already loaded and now I want to do the same things, better I copy it. Okay, copy it and now in our about page, I want to do, I want to add another link. I name it as a, that will be as a contact, right? Then that will be redirected redirect, redirect to the contact page from to the about page. Now I want to create another one as a contact, contact page. Okay, then that will be our another name route as a contact page. Now we have to add it in our web into this web then that will be written direct to the slash contact so i want to use that our name route our name route will be the name and then i name it as a contact page great that means it will be when our that means in our about page that is our route name i name it as a contact page in our web then that will be our name route it will be get our that route okay and then uh, it will be get that our slash contact and that is our method it will be redirect direct to our controller. I have already loaded that controller. That is our controller. And with this controller, that is our method will be executed and it will be written redirect to our contact page. Now, if you click as a save all, now if you go, I refresh it. Now you can see there is another link as a contact. So if you put your cursor, you can see it's not display as a slash contact. If you go to that contact, it will be written direct to the contact page. If you go to that about, it will be written direct to the about page. I hope friend you get that idea how to load uh, that name route. So that is actually our name route. You can also pass that link by the URL. Like I show you, if you go to our contact, into this contact, before I use that as a route, that is a route name. 
you can also use that as a url then that will be as a url route that is url and into this url area here i have already named it and that will be as a slash about right i copy it and then here i want to want to use that as a url route so that will be as a slash about okay when that will be as a slash about then that will be as a direct one so right now we don't need to use that as a name route i simply close it and that means remove it then that will be also work like the save all i have updated in our contact that is a url now if you go and refresh it and now that is our contact page i want to go to that contact page and for the contact page that is our about you can see that is the same things as a about if you now click as about it's also successfully working i hope you get that idea that url that is the url route and also there is another one as a name route so what exactly the difference between both of these like if you now update your url like your url is like that okay your url is like that there is so many <laughs> big size right now if you want to use that as a url okay, here oh, that is a url route so when you use that as a url route here you have to also add that appropriate that route that means here we have to do we have to use it I copied and then you, here we have to we have to paste it okay that means your total URL here you have to add now if you click as a save all that should be work now click as a refresh okay now that is a about is not <laughs> exist because of all I have already changed that our URL right now if you go to that our contact page I want to do and to refresh it first again to refresh it and now if you put your causal you can see that is our URL now if you click it our URL is become changed so that is a little bit annoying right that is a little bit annoying because of all if you have that very long url then that url is not appropriate but here if you use that as a name route so i make it as again as a route okay route and i name that again as a that will be as a about page okay about page i name it as a about page so when you use that as a name route then i simply update that route again whatever the url uh, right now that is doesn't matter i want to use it by the name a name i name it which one i name it as a about page so now url is doesn't matter now it will be get that our name route and with this name route it will be get that our url now if you click as a save all now if you refresh it okay refresh it now if you go to that contact page now you can see there is a contact page and if you go to that about page yes you can see it's now successfully loaded here you don't need to pass your total url in here so that is the main difference between uh, using that a uh, name route and then the url route i hope friend it's very much clear to you right now how to use that name route and why you should use that name route and if there are, if your url is very small you can also use it as a url route okay i have shared both of this with you which is totally fine in our next video, uh, I will discuss about another most important part as a MIDI lawyer. How can create some of the MIDI lawyer and how can working with this, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.